What's going on, folks? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to T3G. I'm Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. And today we're doing our weekly coverage, talking about discussing our weekly TV shows, and uh, we only have two this time. We only have two, and it, we Everybody's still wait. We still waited like three days to put it out. I know. We always like to. Uh, <laughs> Procrastinate? I can't even say Procrastinate. That. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, we got uh, we got Walking Dead and mm -hmm. we got Agents of Shield, and that's it. Uh, I figure let's start out with Walking Dead. Sure. Um, overall, real quick, it was a filler episode. It was a good episode. Uh, why why I mean, do you like, say it's a filler episode? It's again. a filler episode because nothing happened. I mean, they had a party. You know, the one chick freaked out. That's basically it. Rick was being weird. Like, he put his hand behind his back about, like, was he about to shoot that guy as he was walking away with his wife and kid? Like, right, that's what I thought. I'm like, like is he going to shoot him so he uh, can have the girl? I'm like, you can't Then, then he do goes that. and caresses the wall and, and while the zombie's pounding on it. And I figured that party, you know, you can take it two ways. And they kind of pointed it out on Talking Dead. You can either look at it as, like, he's a, he's a caged animal and he wants to get out or, or more like... Uh, Maybe like he feels safe and he realizes like demonstra that well, demonstrating right. how safe he might be. Right. So I don't I know. Guess, it's, I guess. It, 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 I guess depending on how you look at it. But otherwise, yeah, not much happened, man. It was just a filler episode. It was literally I think just it was, that. I think. I don't necessarily know if it was a filler episode. Yeah, I think it, it was like a personal discovery episode. Everyone kind of went through like a little personal moment of figuring I out mean, I, I, what was up with where where they were standing on this whole issue. Like you had... Um, I mean, really just in my opinion, I see where you're going. But I mean, that that was maybe more for Rick and Daryl, but that's about it. And, I mean, and, and Sarah. Sarah had that, that whole freak out moment. Of when she was she was at the party and I mean know, listen she, I get it she She's, she wanted action she wanted to be actively doing something no I think against, she just wanted to kill shit well, that's what I'm saying she wanted to actively be going a murderer against, uh, no <laughs> no she wanted to actively be, be pursuing you know the the walkers and going in to try to like make something happen because she doesn't want to she doesn't want to sit there and think about this just really awful situation that they're in. So I think she wants to be doing something and that's really hard in this world. So, you know, and she's like, I want I want I want I want to be I want to take all the shifts on the watchtower. Yeah, that's you why know? I'm saying that's why I don't agree with you because you're like, oh, she wants to be out and doing this. No, she she'd sit at a watchtower with a gun in her hand and start she, shooting she, at Because things. that's an active like it's an active um, um, it's an active role in the, the security and defense of their position. But I don't think it has anything to do with security. I think, honestly, she just wants to shoot. That's why she was shooting at those pictures. And I think and she was th trying to draw attention to herself. Yeah, so she can kill some zombies. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just absolutely. don't... I, I, that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense. Why, why not? Like, what, she's never exhibited this type of behavior before. Yeah, she just lost two people in a row. Yeah, absolutely she hasn't. Because now she... I guess. She, she lost the guy... That tried to make her sane after losing her lover, and now she lost her brother. That was trying to make her cope with that as a human being. Who, who does she? Who does she have now? This group that she doesn't care for their opinions right now. She just wants to kill things. That's that's what I got out of that. She All just right. wants to like she's she clearly doesn't like. That's why she's like, oh, that's what you worry about. Because in her mind is like, no, I, I worry about zombies and and surviving. Not worry about baking me the right food. Like that, that's her right. Thing. I just, just I just worry that I'm not that I'm gonna make something that you're not going to like. And that's what you worry. That's about? what you're worried about. Yeah, no, I I think she's just looking to relieve her anger and and kill things. Okay, and, okay. And at the same time, obviously trying to feel like she's surviving clearly because you know she said, "Is that what you're worried about?" Because she clearly is worried about the zombies, but she wants to kill them right now. Like she's got this anger inside her and she wants mm -hmm. to kill them. And then when it comes down to Rick, clearly he was kind of discovering, does he really want to go through this plan of taking over this place? Because, you know, he's meeting this girl. He clearly likes her, gives her that little kiss on the cheek. Um, and then you got Daryl that's, you know, growing up fond of uh, Aaron and, you know, b maybe becoming friends with him and stuff like that. So, it, you know, he definitely, Aaron definitely got him to be more open. Like he clearly now is like, oh, yeah, I'll go on things, you know, I'll go on missions with you trying to get people to be involved with us and stuff like that so it's that i like i mean i like the moment where he was out you know he was like all right here's the guns 
And it's like, you know what? You you wanted me to give this a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. Right. I don't right. need a gun. Right. So you know, he put himself in that position of really still being kind of the the separate you know separate personality in that group. So. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And then of course Carol being psycho. That was messed up. That was so messed up to a level that I can't even explain. The scariest person in the group right now. Absolutely. <laughs> she threatened the crap out of a kid. Yeah. <laughs> that kid oh my crapped God. himself oh twice my God. in that moment. That was such a dark moment. <laughs> but that was that was awesome. And like, that was awesome. Dark. I like awesome. that Carol is in that mentality of like, we'll do anything we need. But man, that was dark. Yeah, absolutely. That was real was. dark. Absolutely. I don't know how I feel about it. I just don't know how I feel about it. I feel that they're taking the negative approach way too soon. So I think. No, I think honestly, I don't think they are because listen, as I dis as I explained before in our other di discussions of the other episodes when they first arrived to this place, they've experienced at least three different situations where they trusted people and at the end of the day, they were almost being victims of death because they trusted those people. The governor, uh, uh, the terminus, uh, the people with Beth, and then even before before the governor and terminus, I forgot where they were at. I could have sworn that they were in a situation where it might have been. So it's, it's, it's just been so many different times that it's just, at what point are you like, oh yeah, 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 I can trust these people. No, in my eyes, three times, four times, whatever many times, plus on top of that, like we've been doing nothing but surviving and trying to get to Washington. I think at that point you're just like, you know what, it, it's it's time to start being more violent and, and uh, more tough about situations than it I is mean, to try to accept of what's going on. I guess. Because you're I still, we still don't know what's going on with this group. We don't know if they're uh, in genuinely like nice people. We uh, clearly the governor, the chick governor. They is seem. Like, they seem to me like they're rich people who happen to be in the right place at the right time. Sure, absolutely. Um, I mean, that's definitely because they it don't. Looks I mean, like because they they never lived out there. Right. They they're from that community. No, absolutely. They they're clearly, from that planned I mean, community. Everybody they spoke with clearly said, "Oh, we you know we got lucky. We were you know about a month and we found this place and we right. built this wall and you know everybody. That's basically the story from everybody. So clearly they haven't been out there like this group. So right. maybe that is the case. Maybe it is. But clearly that politician woman Diane, uh, she. She clearly still has something that we don't know about. I mean, she's there's um, she's no nah, there's something going on. She's still playing some kind of game, definitely. But maybe, but uh, maybe not. Maybe they truly are just you know people looking for more people that can maybe keep them safe type of deal. Right. You know? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they just are weaklings and they're hoping they can find people like Rick to uh, you know keep them keep them well, safe and keep them from getting zombies busting in or even maybe a different group i mean we keep seeing the zombies with the w's on their head and a lot of people are expecting what that is a lot of people are because it's a lot of people are expecting their uh speculating speculating thank you uh that uh, there's two different groups i guess that it could be mm -hmm. uh a lot of people are saying one of the groups they don't think it is because it would take just kind of looking at where they are now as a group and how long away that would seem like it is. That's why they're thinking it's um, like some... I forgot exactly what I read up on, but I got to read it, uh, read up on it. But they're, they're basically, it's two different groups. The one that's further away is the group that makes Carl lose his eye in the comics. Okay. Uh, that one's further away if you're looking at the timeline. And this other group is more like... Uh, Kind of like one of those groups uh, that Daryl met with the bikers. Like they're more vicious. Like they just want to cause chaos. Type okay. Deal. And and uh, and I guess uh, they mentioned that this is if it's this group, this is the group that has been trying to get into this place. And uh, obviously the community hasn't been allowing them type of deal. Okay. Okay. So from what I I'm see from that. what I'm understanding, I mean I could have read that wrong, but that's kind of what I read up online. Okay. When they mentioned that on Talking Dead, uh, but. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's I, I can't wait to see. I'm guessing that's what they're gonna their finale is gonna be. That set have, up. Yeah, that set up of that group maybe coming in. Because there's only a couple episodes left, right? Yeah, three episodes from what I understand. So, um, 
Yeah, so we'll see. But I mean, overall, I still enjoyed it. I just it yeah. was definitely more of a filler episode. I mean, clearly not much happened. I liked it. I mean, I enjoyed this it. season overall. I mean, these last two seasons really have been really slow. I mean, there's just it's really been slow. You know, so you, you have you have one moment, you know, one episode where it's just kind of like ah crazy stuff, right? And then this, you know, if you're gonna call them that, you know, filler episodes, sure, then it's sure. like. Exposition, exposition, right. exposition, fight, right. exposition, exposition, you know, and that's going to get boring. I mean, that's going to get boring. Last season, I was dying. I was dying last season. I really wanted them just to finally get to Terminus. And then... The that season definitely took a lot. I agree, but I, I don't know. I think, I feel like this season, especially the first half, was a lot faster paced. Like, there were a lot of what was going on. They were getting out of Terminus in the first episode, and like the third episode, they were dealing with the guys that tracked them from Terminus. In one of the other episodes, we see Beth trying to deal with this new group. I mean, like, I, I don't I don't think any of them... But all the that's done. Was, like, all that's done. Well, yeah, yeah. Now that's all done. So now the second half definitely feels more filler. There's definitely been a lot more filler. But I don't know. That first first half, I don't feel like it was a slow season. Right. I think it's definitely more the second half that feels like it's a slower part. But nothing like last season. Right. I don't think it's anywhere near what the last, last season was just, oh, oh we're going to get to Terminus. Well, clearly... You're gonna to get to Terminus probably at the end of the season. Right. So, but that's basically where that's at. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun episode, it was a good episode. for what it was. It was a good I mean, episode. I, I, liked it. I never dislike any Walking Dead episodes. I just I know what a filler is, and I know what uh, you know a more fun episode is. Clearly, so now yeah, you know this was one, just one of those other filler episodes. Sure. That's basically it. Now, Agents of Shia World. I love it. This is exactly what I said last week. This is the episode that should have happened last week. And not this week. But, okay, so what I'll say on that is, I think last week was meant to be more about uh, Reyna. I think it was meant to be more about Reyna okay. because that was her, sure. like, finding her way. Okay. And now we've had Sky kind of finding her way, finding her place. Sure, and I, and I understand that, but once again, I just... I didn't care for that last week's episode. This week, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I, I actually, really I'm, I'm actually I saying that I loved who... a Marvel's episode. <laughs> I never say that. I never say that. Oh. I actually love this episode because it's just so much going on. <coughs> uh, you got uh, you got the Cree, right? It was a Cree guy. Yeah, that's, that's what I don't understand. I, I don't understand why, like who he was. He didn't really resonate any character that I know. No, um, it could have been it just was, a extra. It's you know, kind of a character. weird. Like, they, they went real real hard and real fast into the Inhuman thing, you know? Mm -hmm. They brought in a Kree, they really explained kind of the origins of it. Mm -hmm. So, but we're not going to see the Inhumans movie for... A while. A while. A while. Well, I mean, they even said, like, you know, there was a group on Earth that they had a city and all this right, stuff. Right, right. And they're thinking that it's the city underground when it's not. Nah, it's actually it's not definitely that not. city. Yeah. It's, uh, it's probably going to be Adelan and it's probably going to be somewhere in, like, the mountains. Right. Um... So that's kind of one of those things that I I they're going really fast with that concept. Mm -hmm. Not not necessarily, you know, it's not really a story I would say, uh, but the inhuman concept is being brought up really fast and right. that might be because the show needs more of a connection to something with powers. Yeah, with yeah, absolutely. Superhero level, absolutely. You know? And I can see that, you know, we're, we're going to have Sky kind of learn her, her learn her thing. Um, I I'm going to say May's probably going to be the one to teach her. Well, I think May is definitely going to teach her how to control her uh, uh, emotions more because clearly mm -hmm. whatever's going on is tied to her like being, you know, experiencing anxiety or mm -hmm. some kind of emotion and feeling. So that that clearly is something that May is going to work with her on. Because right. obviously May, she barely shows any kind of emotion. So I think May, yeah, May, yeah, May is so. May's cool that way. Um, and the other thing that I, I I thought was interesting was the. The Mac and Bobby thing, like I don't That's know what they are. Yeah. I don't know, especially with the with the end of the episode where he he takes down. Uh, yeah, he takes that. He straight up and chokes the guy out. So and and it's just he's like and you, that. But like he does thing. say, but he does say shit like 
like he knows like that shouldn't have happened. Like, yeah, he, he like he looks at the you he know didn't he want to choke him out, but he gives you that look and I, well, he, it's it's that moment of like, well, now what do I do? Like, right. I have to like resolve this situation right. somehow. Either resolve the situation or move the plan really fast. So and right. it looks and, like and, from and, the preview, from what I saw, it looks like the plan is about to happen next episode. So okay. whatever they're up to is happening next episode. Because that's that thing where I, I look at those two and. Just the little hints of what they've said, right? Before before the season finale, it was like, mm. you know, is that something you wanted to bring him in on? No, he doesn't need to know about that. Cool. And it's like, all right. And then last episode, they were like, oh, something, something. Right, right, Support right. group. Yeah. And I was like, okay, all right, I guess, sure. And this episode, it was just like, should we maybe call in backup? Right. And when he comes in, he's like, who's backup? And I'm like, that's a good point. Because I, I, I kind of like had an idea of that when they said it. Right. I was kind of like, who are they calling for backup? Right. But then I'm like, who is backup? Who like who do you have a direct line to? That's true. Because right out. now, there's hear, really they, hear me they out. are they are it. Hear me out. I'm thinking you know, the situation they're in. They're they're underground. Okay. They're hidden. Okay. They're no one knows where they are. Right. So if they call in backup, that backup needs to be there basically instantaneously. Right. I'm gonna put it on the table and say Doctor Strange. I'm going to say Doctor Strange. Uh, I don't think it is. Because no one else can teleport there. Well, that's fine, but I don't think it is. I don't think we're going to see Strange. I don't think we're going to hear about Strange in this. I, it's not even anywhere close. Because right? right now, this series has to finish before Ultron happens, so it's not Strange. Because Strange is not happening until after the next Captain America, which is Civil War. Right. So it's well, it's well, it'll be a while before we hear Strange. Right, but they've already... His name's already been brought up. His so he's name, already a key well, they've, factor they've in that They've said universe. his name, but there's nothing. Right. Like, nothing but was associated they've said it. they've that. said it in a very specific manner. You know, they said, uh, anyone who's a threat to Hydra, bam, bam, you know, Stephen Strange. So Stephen Strange is on the list of people who are who were a threat to Hydra at that sure. time. So he's already a player in some fashion in the Sure, world. absolutely. So that's why I'm thinking maybe him, um, maybe as an indirect connection to... Um, the the defenders. Right. I was gonna say secret defenders because that's strange puts them together, but I, I think maybe they bring that in somehow. That I would like them to connect it. Somehow. Sure, sure, I get you, but I, I don't I don't think we'll see that at all. I think that's just jumping ahead in my opinion. I think you might be. Going We're talking on. about inhumans. We're talking about inhumans in detail. But three right, they, well, the here's movie. the thing. Three years Four before years. the movie, that's fine, but they clearly went the route of Inhumans with a character that's on the show. They had to explain it. Right. They but, had to explain it. But the, that the, means, lo the logical regardless. thing to be, would be to bring in more of these concepts. Because, okay, so they're doing this whole thing on agents to prevent having to do an origin story, like a really long origin subplot in the Inhumans movie. Right. I get that. I understand right. that. So you set it up along the way in the next two, three seasons. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, then, why not do that with other characters? Why not do that with Doctor Strange and bring in? I don't kind disagree. Of where maybe they're not directly sure. You know, again, I'm saying it's Doctor Strange. So if it is Doctor Strange, maybe they've got a direct line to him. Right. They already are maybe siding with him. He's talking about creating a new group. You know, to kind of go but above that and beyond Shield. Okay. Well, that the. But that doesn't mean. I mean, I, that's I what because they said. I have you know, Maybe the they'll comics, take their side. But is that something Strange has done in the comics? I mean, Strange formed the Secret Defenders. Okay. Okay. So that's why I'm thinking because Mac and and Bobby, they're I mean, they're not super powered. They're more of a street level type mm -hmm. character. I could see them being able to to bridge over into the Netflix series. Well, I, I'm not this. So, so here's kind of where I'm going with this. I'm not disagreeing that it might be something with the Defenders, but I don't think we'll hear anything about Strange. I don't think. I just don't know who else could just be there. If they're like, we should call for backup. That backup needs to be there. Who well, else right, is going to be it, that it, character? But here's the thing. It depends what they mean by we need to call backup. If they say, oh, we need to call backup and have them, you know, that doesn't mean, oh, they need to be there unless, right there. Unless, like, oh, we call you, here's where we're at, you know, or they already clearly know where they're at because if there's backup, they're probably already told right? the backup where they're at. Okay. So that being said, they're going to call backup when they're ready to do it, So which means it'll give them time to show up type of deal. I mean, but they were in that situation of a fight. Like, they weren't going to be able to handle him. They were fighting the Kree, and they weren't going to be able to handle him. That's why she said, maybe we should call for backup, because they, they were going to die.
You know what I'm saying? Like, they were in that fight, and she said, Mac, maybe we should call for backup. So that's what I'm saying. That was like an instantaneous response necessity. So if you call for backup, you've got maybe two minutes for response time before you're dead. So somebody needs to be there in the next two minutes. So unless somebody's in the facility or I thought they, super I, nearby. I, I honestly, I never, I see what you're saying, I'm, I'm, but I never thought of that as like, oh, we should bring back up somebody outside but, but, who's in the shield. And I didn't initially, and I didn't initially, I think you're just but, then too much into it. but then at the end he said, who's back up? You know what I'm saying? Like he, I think oh, I oh, didn't. I, I didn't take it that way I until see. they put it to me I that see. way. I see. I see. Because he was like, "Who's backup?" Okay, so who who are you going to call? I see. And yeah, then I yeah, thought yeah, back, and I'm right. like, "Well, that's that was right. in the middle of a fight. That's if they're right. gonna call for backup, they need to be there right away." Right. So I'm thinking within a minute or two. So I mean, either somebody who's really close or can teleport in. Now the other thing I didn't think about was you got the Doctor Strange is a possibility, but the other side is. If they are connected to the other Inhumans, mm -hmm. that guy who teleports. Okay, but here's the thing. Even and that, that might have been like, even, a, hey, let's get. Even out of here. that being said, uh, I don't. So would Doctor Strange attack him? Because in the next, uh, in if you watch the preview for the next episode, they're clearly like fighting Shield. So I don't. That's what I'm saying. When, when they said like, we're, you know, they're they're gonna, they might, you know, whatever he said, like they might take their side or he might take their side. Um, we can't risk that chance. Well, they're not Hydra. They said they're not Hydra. Okay. Um, so there's something else that is going to be against S.H.I.E.L.D. So they're working for someone else, but that someone else is somewhere nearby or has the ability to be there within moments. Okay. And that's a very short list of people and or groups. But I mean, I honestly, I still don't know where it's going because Coulson hasn't done anything to, like, make people think they're bad guys. So... I don't know, like, I don't well, understand I mean, I, what's I'm going on, I think, to I be think honest. That, like, I've, I think that's going to be part of it. I think the biggest part of that is going to be Coulson really taking that personally because he brought them in. Okay, that's fine. I understand that. But once again, I still don't know what they're, like, why they're acting this way or what's behind it. Because all Coulson's been trying to do is build S.H.I.E.L.D. back together and get the right people involved. So them doing what they're about to do, to me, I mean, like, if I look at it, it's just stupid right now. I right. mean, honestly, that's all I've been well, thinking it, about yeah, this, depending... like, secret thing. is sure. It's stupid, because, like, there's... Colson has done nothing but try to protect the people that were around him. So, like, what... Like, they, the, might, they might just Max have a different already, idea about Max that. Max mad because he got taken over, and he was all, like, raged out in that cave. Like, in my opinion, I'm like, get, get off of it, buddy. I get it. You can control your body, sure, but why are you mad at other people? You sure. Know, they were all just trying to figure out what's on Earth and threatening Earth. That's basically where it was at. Hydros were behind getting something that might be able to, that might threaten Earth or threaten the good guys or threaten innocent people. And so they went after it. Max mad because they jo chose to like go on a, a, a treasure hunt for this bad thing that Hydra wanted as well. Mac needs to get over it. I mean, to me, it's just right now when so I you're see thinking this, somebody I'm like, this who, is somebody who would have, because because they went on this like you know crazy chase for. I had because that yeah you're right he he did express that in the first episode yeah. where he was talking about like you he was know, all th angry about this it. wouldn't have happened right if, if you guys would have just let that go right but it's like no you but that mentality yeah right. but that mentality is that like all right well Hydra would have gotten it right. then and then where would we be exactly um, so I, right now like whatever their whatever the secret is I honestly I can't even like I I try to think about it like oh what what are they hiding but it's right. like whatever it is it's stupid right now that they're acting the way they are that they're written how that, many, that, that how it's many written. we got we got, we got quite a few we should there. have quite a few because we're just back into the other half so there's got to be at least quite a few left um but yeah i don't know whatever it is i mean clearly we're gonna from what it looks like in the preview we're gonna see it tomorrow or not tomorrow but this week this coming up week so hopefully it they explain as much as possible because like i said to me right now however this part is written is stupid because like i try to think about it and just nothing makes sense like why you're angry because you went to prevent hydra from getting something that's dangerous right it, it's it's gonna be interesting it's right now it's just to me when i look at it, a couple more days a couple more days we get to find out what yeah happens. absolutely I, absolutely but like, overall i enjoyed the episode uh i i thought it was cool seeing uh, her not being able to control the power them seeing it and figuring out okay she has this power them i like that they fought Coulson, for her Coulson fighting for her uh i i 
I think Matt. Gemma's, Gemma's I think, still I racist. I think everybody. Uh, yeah, Gemma's definitely still. Well, racist. I don't think so though, because she, well, she's she, like she was my friend. Well, you're, it's okay, different. So, she's like, no, no it's, it's not, not different. <laughs> uh, either you want them dead or you don't. You said everybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So yeah, now, so it's oh, not different. So well. I think right now, right now, she's getting very close to being that character that they don't know what to do with. And I don't like that because that's what it feels like to me. Like, oh, all of a sudden I'm going to start. Well, because they broke human. up. They broke up the the Fitzsimmons thing. Sure, right? they broke up Fitzsimmons. Yeah, yeah. So, Fitz is now kind of he's got his own thing where he's trying to build himself back sure, up. Sure, absolutely. Simmons is just kind of around, so they had to give her something to be. I guess. So I guess you well, know, like I, I, said, I just like don't want said. everyone. I, I just I hate when, when characters become become uh, Matt from Nip Talk. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I just hate that. I agree. So it's that's why I'm saying right now she's getting very close to being that character that I'm just not going to enjoy. And the whole fact that like Max like, "Oh, we need protection from her." She's not going to kill you. I mean, get it. I get it. She can't control the power, but she's not like intentionally going to come after you. Right. Like where you're intentionally discussing to go after her. Here, she's not intentionally thinking like, oh, "I'm going to go ahead and stop here, them before they stop thought. me." Here's a Here's a thought. And this is just kind of a a wild thought right when did they announce the spider-man thing it was december right uh, what when they got spider-man with uh from sony yeah like early, early they combined um well no it was like at least early january i wouldn't say it was january i'd probably say it was sometime last month because okay. it took some time for them but, to actually admit the fact that there was some right. kind of talks there was a rumor right that there was so talks. but let's say so we're, let's presume that we knew about those talks you know as Marvel. Let's say we're Marvel execs and we know about that. Okay. And we say, hey, Kevin, this might be happening. You know, maybe sprinkle some groundwork in for mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm. And then Kevin's like, Joss, here's what's going on. Um, what do you think we should do? And he's like, maybe we set up Norman Osborn's shield, hammer. Okay. By sprinkling in a little bit of conflict on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hmm. To then maybe have Norman Osborn be the guy who they back as creating this new organization called Hammer. Okay, well, because that, that was kind of a thing that, that was the that, thing that happened that, right after Civil War. That would make sense. And like Secret Invasion. That would make sense. So I thought I think because they were talking about like you know we need protection from her. So right. that's like kind of a that you don't want to be proactive. You want to be right. defensive, but you want to be right. You know, hard about it. That's right. kind of like where I'm thinking. You know, that would make more sense. Yeah, because Hammer, Hammer's whole sense. thing was to like, you know, be that, be the Hammer. You know, be, be the Hammer, be, right? So I don't know. That would make more sense. So I think maybe if they bring in Norman Osborn, I would be sprinkle it in a little bit. Sprinkle I wouldn't be surprised because clearly, if they were in talks and when the rumor was a rumor, clearly they knew that would have been December, right? When uh, they put that last so, episode out. For so the last if they knew, because before that they didn't mention anything. Before right. Before that no, last absolutely. episode, they didn't right. mention. They, there was no secrecy. No, no, no. So, so if, just that they, last if episode. they knew, if they knew, then yeah, I can see that. I can see that more than bringing up some sort of other team or some sort of right. other group that might be the anti Shield, right. but not evil. Exactly. No, I can definitely see that more than Doctor Strange. That would make more sense to me than Doctor Strange. Fair enough. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, I love that. Episode that's pretty much it. I liked two it. Two episodes. Yeah. It's it's a good start back up for the mid season. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I think it should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to carry us through, uh, as well as iZombie starts next week. We're, we're give, yeah, yeah, we we'll might give it. that a whole video just to kind of give it a real full analysis. Yeah, I um, think I think that'll be a, a full video on its own, just so we can really s talk about the pilot and how it went. And, yeah, and if know, we're going to yeah. talk about yeah, it. Yeah, and if we're <laughs> going to continue to talk about it, absolutely. But otherwise, uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. If you guys have any thoughts on the episodes, drop them down below. Uh, make sure you check out T3GTech.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. As always, I have been Cerebro. Full throttle. Signing off.